The Biojun Yep is not only Seyus. GM Wuling's first electric SUV, it's also the first EV we've ever seen with a high-definition display on the back of it. Inspired by smartwatches, the optional feature is being promoted as a way for young drivers to express themselves on the road. The screen stretches across the rear tailgate of the Yayap and is a meter wide by 0.26 meters tall, 39.3 sten.2 inches. It features a wide rectangle, a square, and a shorter portion that appears to double as the handle. Seen together, they kind of look like an Apple Watch or similar smartwatch. And in one promotional photo, the rectangular portion of the screen displays what looks like a watch band to reinforce that impression further. In addition to displaying a literal watch face, the screen can also show screensaver, like animations, emoticons, emoticons, and short messages. The automaker says that owners will be able to unlock interaction games to allow them to share creative ideas. The feature is intended to help young generation to express their personalities. So far, no information is available about how much the feature will cost, but let's all pray that the owners of the IFD don't get rear-ended, because I can't imagine the repair bill will be very cheap. The car that the screen is mounted to isn't very expensive, though. Car News China reports that it will start at around 100,000 yuan, $14,436 at current exchange rates, and you don't get a lot of sous vide for that money. The Biojun, Yep, measures in at just 133.1 inches in length, 66.3 inches in width, and 67.7 inches in height, 3,380, 1x1685, x1720, 1mm, making it just a little longer but narrower and taller than a classic mini. Naturally, not much is needed to power the crossover, and it receives a single electric motor at the back axle, which makes 67 OP 50Q, 68 PS, and 103 LB, fuffed 100 breeding of torque. It has a limited top speed of 62 MP, 100 chem, 100 chem, ha, and its lithium iron phosphate battery can take it 188 miles, 303 chem per charge.